Hello everyone, it's Tony, and it is that time again to set my fall table. Now this year I was very intrigued by all the pumpkins that were all lit up and inside all the magazines and online. And I really wanted to have that same look on my fall table this year. Well today I want to show you how I made my own version of this with a centerpiece trio of glass lit candle holding pumpkins. To make my pumpkin centerpiece, I'm using three different size fishbowl vase. You can find these at Dollar Tree, Walmart, or any craft store. I'm using five glass candlestick holders. I got these from Dollar Tree, along with three seven inch saucer plates, two glass prep bowls. You can get these four in a pack, and three stained glass leaf shaped tea candle holders. I'm also using battery operated mini lights. You can find these at Walmart. And I'm using my Your House a Home multi-surface metallic acrylic paint, a medium-sized paintbrush, Gorilla Clear Grip glue, and a little hot glue. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing the stand. And I'm using some pieces that I already had, these candle holders. I'm going to make three different stands for my pumpkins. I had these already. I'm not sure if Dollar Tree still has these, but if you can't find them, you can use um, different like glass pieces you could put together, something like this. So um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these to put them together. Starting with the largest one, I'm going to use two glass candlesticks and two of these round bowls. These are prep bowls. Okay, let's get started. So using my Gorilla Clear Grip glue, I'm going to put glue all the way around the rim of one of my prep bowls. But I'm leaving a little space and opening just to put a dot of hot glue. Then I'm going to line my bow up starting on the wet side where the wet glue is and then um, putting it in position and then pushing it down on the dot of hot glue. The hot glue is there just to keep these bows in place. Sometimes with the wet glue it starts to slide and I want the bows to be centered. So I'm just going to go around and clean up some of the edges and I'm going to sit that aside and let that dry for about five minutes. So after a few minutes, I am going to attach that sphere to the top of this candlestick. So I'm putting a little Gorilla Clear Grip glue on the top edge of the candlestick and I'm going to center that sphere right directly on top of the candlestick and just make sure it is even on all sides and completely centered. Next I'm going to apply glue to the other candlestick holder and center that directly on top of the sphere. Now I'm just going to set this aside and let that dry before I go to the next step. For my second stand, I just glued together two candlesticks, mouth to mouth, and I have something that looks like this. For the third and smallest level stand, I'm just going to use a single candlestick holder. The next thing I'm going to do is place one of these plates on top of each of the pieces that are drying. I'm going to just pretty much center these on each of these. So starting with my smallest stand, I'm going to add some wet glue and attach and center my glass plate on top of it. And I'm doing the same thing for the other two pedestals. And again, you want to adjust it to make sure the plates are completely centered and there's equal space around the center of the glass pieces. 
So now I have three different size glass pedestals ready to hold my glass pumpkins. Okay, so I set those aside and now it's time to work on my pumpkins. Now, I have a uh, still have my New Orleans accent so sometimes I say pumpkin and I know the word is pump pumpkins pumpkins because you guys have commented on the way I say pumpkin pumpkins so anyway I am gonna start working on my pumpkins so um what I'm using are three different sizes of um, these fishbowl vases. And I got these from Dollar Tree. I've had some of these. You might not be able to find all three sizes. I did see this one in Dollar Tree um, recently. Uh, there may be one this size, this large one. I'm not sure if they have any more, but you can probably find it at Walmart if you don't see it in Dollar Tree. Anyway, I am going to turn these upside down and for my pumpkin stem, I'm using these pretty leaf shaped tea candle holders because I want to be able to put a candle in it also. but. Anyway, I, li I love the color, and um, what I'm going to do first is glue these to the glass bowls, like so. So let's add a little clear grip glue around the edge of each of our tea candle holders, and center and attach them to the tops of each of our bowls. So I'm going to let these dry before I go to the next step, which is painting the glass pumpkins. Okay, so what I want to do is match this beautiful color that I have on the leaf. And it looks like it's a mix between gold and black. So I'm going to use my metallic paint, the Your House of Home metallic paint. And I'm going to mix these two colors together to see if I could get something close to the leaf shaped stems. So I poured out some gold and just a little bit of black and I'm going to start mixing that to see what that color looks like. Also I'm mixing it on a glass dish so I can see exactly what it looks like on glass. Okay I think I have something close to the color of this leaf shaped stem. But I think it might need just a little bit of bronze in it. Let me see how bronze and black will look if it's closer to the color. And uh, from looking at this, it looks like the black and gold is closer. But I may do a combination of the two. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this color, gold and black, with a little bit of bronze in it. I think that's pretty actually that might work something like that let's start with the smallest one turn it upside down I want to paint in the inside because I want the outside to be shiny I'm going to start from the center and I like to do swirls something like that And it goes on very translucent on, gla on um, glass because glass is a very shiny surface. So any acrylic paint is going to be really uh, translucent, but especially this um, metallic paint. And I might even go back with a little bit of bronze add that to it to make it a little interesting and I really just want a stain of color because I want it to be see-through as I'm adding lights to this something like that 
And we're going to sit that up and let that dry completely. As it dries, it's going to look more metallic. And it'll give you some lines that'll sort of mimic the pumpkin shape. I have another pumpkin video. I use most of the paint colors, reds and orange. And I made similar pump, glass pumpkins as far as painting goes. So I wanted to do the same technique with this one. The swirls. Little goes a long way, so I only used the, the little bit that I squirted out for all three of these. Okay, so this part of the head of the pumpkin is clear, and I want to kind of blend that in. So I think I'm going to add a little paint here. I also decided to add just a little tint of that color on sections of the stand. So on each of the stands I'm going to put just a little bit of a stain of this color in between the sections. So that'll give it just a hint of color and it'll help tie all the pieces in together. So I'm going to set these pumpkins upside down so that they're open and the paint can dry and let them dry overnight because I want them to be completely dry before I go to the next step. Okay, so after letting everything sit overnight to dry, I wanted the paint inside here to dry because I'm going to be putting lights in here. So all these pieces are ready. My pumpkins are all done. I have my center pieces done and I'm ready to create my table centerpiece. So I'm going to take these to my dining room and put everything together. So on my dining table, I already have this table runner I made a couple of years ago um, using Dollar Tree parts. And I have these beautiful silver pieces that I actually got this tray from Goodwill for just $6. It's really heavy and beautiful. I also got this teapot, uh, I believe, from Goodwill. And this tray is just, um, it just had this stain that I can't get out but it was completely tarnished and I used a little right silver cleaner and it cleaned it right up beautifully. Um, that little stain there I usually cover with whatever I have on the tray so it's, it's never a problem. In this case I'm going to use this tray to hold my new center pieces. So let's get started with that. I'm going to position the stands pretty close to each other and I'll put the smallest one in front. I'll put the smallest pumpkin on the smallest level. On the medium sized level I'll put the largest pumpkin and the medium pumpkin on the highest level just to mix things up a bit. And as you can see now that the paint is dry, it has a beautiful metallic finish, it's translucent. So you can still see it's glass, but it looks like bronze with a really nice artsy look with all the swirls. It looks really beautiful even without the lights, but let's add the lights and see how that turns out. So I'm using string lights, these string mini lights, and it's battery operated. It has three different settings, steady, blinking, and um, slow dimming. So um, what I'm going to do is set the control at the bottom. You could use one for each pumpkin, but um, I have this set that has about 35 lights, and I think I can use just one for all three of my pumpkins. So with the control at the bottom on the tray, I'm going to start with the end of the light 
and I'm going to take a little piece of tape and put it right um, at the um, wire at the top of the light and I want to tape that at the top of my pumpkin and that's why I wanted to make sure that the paint was dry because I don't want to pull the paint off but it's going to go right there and since I have 35 lights I am going to put about 10 lights in each pumpkin so uh, this is a medium sized one I put about 10 lights in here and then I'll tape put a piece of tape right at the end outside of the pumpkin and that'll keep all the lights inside so it looks like this and I'm just going to turn it over and bend the wire around the edge of the stand so let's turn the lights off just to see what the lights are looking like now I'm going to go to the closest pumpkin next to the lit one and take the lights um, leave a little leeway and I'm going to take a piece of tape and also tape this to the inside of the pumpkin now since this is my biggest one I'll add more lights maybe about 15 and then put a piece of tape on the end of that and turn that over and the smaller one I'll put the rest of the lights in which is less than 10 then to hide the wires I add some pieces of tape around the stand and since the controller is on a tray I can easily turn the lights on and off now to hide this controller and some of the wires I'm going to use this fall vine garland I got this from Dollar Tree I'm going to use two pieces I'm going to take one in and just sort of wrap it around the stands and cover up the controller and I'm going to let um, the end extend all the way across the table and do the same with the other piece on the other side I also have some little ceramic pumpkins this is one that I made last year a mosaic one I'm going to put that in the center and I'm going to put some pumpkins around just to cover up um, the wires and the controllers I'm putting this one right on top of the controller now since I have these openings at the top I can add some large tea candles and give it a more elegant look if I don't want the lights on I can just light candles or I can do both either way I will have a beautifully lit pumpkin sparkling fall table this year Hey guys, check out my Etsy store where you can get some of the very projects made on this show. And for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.